Right, Abby, uh, it was another disappointing loss last week, again conceding early goals. Uh, what do you put this down to? Um, I mean, Melbourne are in the top you know, half of the table. I think they just outplayed us, just purely outplayed us. Um, we didn't really get much of the ball. We're looking to sort of counter-attack, um, and they really just outplayed us in the end. It appears it was a, uh, the second half was a better performance, and the Lady Reds managed to also find the back of the net. Um, what changed in the second half? Um, <laughs> I think it was just the fact that we were, you know, three, four nil down. We just had to come back, and it was, you know, our last ditch effort to sort of get a goal back and hopefully stay in the game. Um, it was just a little bit unfortunate that we'd let in three goals within, you know, 15 minutes. And this week you're up against Perth, another tough test. Uh, what can we expect from them? Well, I mean. Them being at the top of the table, I wouldn't expect it to be an easy game, especially being the last game of the season. They're looking to uh, either secure, you know, a top four place or the top place, you know, on the table overall. So they're going to be coming out firing as well. So that's again going to be a hard game. Uh, they sh they struggled too well uh, last week against Newcastle. Does that give you some confidence heading into the match? Yeah, I mean, especially because we um, recently got a result against Newcastle. Um, but again, they're a, they're a top team for a reason, um, and every game's going to be hard against them. In hindsight, probably not the ideal season. Uh, what do you think the team could have done better? Uh, I think I've always spoken about experience. I think it just comes down to experience. Um, and sometimes you have to learn the hard way, unfortunately, especially with the age of our team. Um, I think it's going to take a couple of years for us to sort of mature as a team. Um, so hopefully next year and the year after we'll be, we'll be firing. And just on that, looking ahead to the future, what, what are the positives you can see coming to fruition? Well, again, the experience factor, all the girls here have obviously played a full season. Um, they know what level it's at now, so they can, you know, in the off-season prepare for that um, and get themselves ready.